Hello everyone, I am Masalama and welcome to episode 35 of Super Mario RPG. In the last episode, we did a few things and then entered the Bowser's Castle. And in this episode, we're gonna continue through Bowser's Castle. We are now going to go through the six of the doors. Let's start with door number one. X, nope. It's always different. So, first of all, we've got a fighting room. There's gonna be 12 battles throughout three rooms. Thank you, four battles per room. Why am I even doing this? Let me just do a little Geno Blast. That'll do. Hold Y for power. We will do that. And it should kill everyone in this room. No. Then how about a bit of a Thunderbolt? I've got a few flower jars and flower taps to share. And I can use them if I so need to, so it'll be all okay. We got a Max Mushroom, it's all okay. Hi there, Mr. Magic Koopa. You are going to make us fight some para troopers. Why, thank you there, Mr. Guy. We're just gonna do the same exact thing that we just did before. Just, you know, fight these two guys right over here like this. And then just melee attack this guy. I guess we do could do it a bit faster, but doing Chino World on the magic magic guy. But oh well, this works too, I suppose. Maybe it takes it might take a two more seconds to beat, but oh well. I guess it might take two a few more seconds to use an item in order to refill my FP. But what can I say, man, I guess? Alright, so what have we got here? Uh, we got a few of them. You can fight them. You are dead. You are dead. And then we got two boos left. I guess we can do Thunderbolt. That might work well for them. Or for us. It'll work very badly for them, but it'll do very well for us. Beautiful. As you can see, we're not even running through this castle, we're just walking through this castle because we rock socks. Because we are the strongest of enemies. We defend with this guy, we do what you know, blast with this guy, hopefully this does quite a bit. If this doesn't, we'll use a thunderbolt and they should be all dead. Are they dead yet? They are all dead and we don't even need to use a thunderbolt. Oh man, we got a hundred coins. Look at the amount of coins we have. Three nine hundred and sixty coins. We're gonna have way too many coins at the end of this, but oh well, what can I say, man? And there's an enemy from our tier one location from Bean Valley that we never liked, but oh well, I guess. I guess we might do melee attack against this guy. That'll work. These guys to pull a naps. These guys up there to Willy Wisps. Like that right over there. It'll do a little bit of damage to Chino. I guess that's to be expected because, you know, we can't make it too easy for us. I mean, this castle's already been too easy for us in the first place. We're just rocking through this castle. What can I say, man? We missed. That's what I can say. And you are dead, Mr. <coughs> Sky Lord Man, whatever. Gino could level 21. Let's do some more for our its attack power. That'll do quite well. Let's be in the middle of the carpet because why not? Now we need to fight some cheap cheap, which are again weak against a thing. But we have these things to pack over there, so let's kill those things first and then move on to the cheap cheap. Muckles they are named. They can do a damage. The fish tries to attack us, but we do all we can in order to save us from being attacked. And this guy is very dead. 454 damage, not like it's a lot or anything like that. Not like we're just rocking the world or anything like that, we're just, you know... Just walking around the corridor, beating out some enemies. Oh, who oh man, we get to fight some mushrooms. Let me get rid of those mushrooms before actually, because I'm a little bit more afraid of the mushrooms than the enemy that actually matters. But oh well, I guess. And let Mala finish it off. You do Mega Recover, that doesn't even do anything because you are dead. Thank you for existing. <laughs> Don't worry. Soon enough, after all of these six doors, there's going to be a little 
resting points and I get some armor pieces and I'm gonna change every single one of my armor pieces to everything else. Okay, let's do a Geno Plus against these guys. Hopefully this will work out fairly well. If it doesn't, then I can also use Thunderbolt, which will do fairly well against these guys, I believe. And even if it doesn't, then oh well. Let's just keep attacking and we just keep touching and they're pretty much dead. Thank you for existing and you give us some more experience that we might or might not need. And you're still alive, we're a bulky one, but you're dead now. You're a dead bulk. And we're just getting all of the experience that we don't even need, but oh well, what can I say, man? And the final card, there are four more battles. These things have to take quite a while. We can fight some fire enemies, that's cool. Let's do this against you, you are dead. And let's do this against you, you are also dead. And let's do this against you, and before that, let me just... Take the amount of damage that I don't take from your attack, and let me just finish you off with a little fist smash from Mallow. Yeah, and you thought Mallow was not a strong enemy. <sighs> oh well. Everyone is wrong sometimes, I suppose. Alright. There's some enemies here now. 502. We get attack off, which is gonna do even more damage next turn. Oh well, 270, and you are going to do something like Bolt on Mallow. It'll do one damage, oh man. If Mario already does 502 damage normally, then what does an attack up do? What's that attack up do to Mario, I wonder? I don't know. <laughs> but there's a starfish. And there's those enemies that always get us lucky, so let me get lucky. Beautiful. Let me get lucky a second time, because that's usually what happened. Maybe we can get lucky a second time. Nope, didn't happen this time. I guess we're too lucky already. Viral Plasm, I think I have never seen this attack, but this will just get us to... Do absolutely nothing, which means that we can just kill you up without a single problem. Oh well, I'll do it. Where's Yoshi? Yoshi is going to be in the left side, which is the exact opposite of the left side, aka the middle side, which is not the exact opposite of the left side, but it's almost there, I suppose. And the last enemy of this row is another one of these guys. We already fought a bunch of those things, but I guess we can, you know. Show our ultra flame, I suppose. Why not? Just do some of this. Show off what our attacks can do. And you are all very dead except one of you. If you are now dead, thank you for existing. And we are done with the thirst room. We are 30,000 frames into the video, which means we are at about. 8 minutes, which means, oh, Star Gun, beautiful. Star Gun goes for our friend Gino here, and I can raise attack by a little bit. His attack is now going to look a little bit better than before. Let's go into the second door now. What does the second door hold for us? Uh, we can't really return back, but oh well, I guess. Let's go into the third door. The third door is another battle quest. At the end of this battle quest, there's going to be a little Fidemadu hickey, which is a thing, I suppose. And this is what the Star Gun attack looks like. It does quite a bit of damage, but oh well. We're going to do Terror Punch, which does 11 damage to Mallow. But oh well, I guess. I wish Gino a good luck in the future, because she's gonna do quite a bit. I... What does that mean? I have no idea. Oh, now I did the attack correctly. I just did it wrong, and that's why I didn't kill one hit. Oh well. Now it's dead. Let me just run for a moment, because this card is long. Now, this guy over here is weak to lightning, but we can just, you know, do this against you. And we can just do... And not attack up for Mario. And then Gino can take care of this guy. 
This guy tries to do some damage, but he fails miserably. I'm gonna do some damage with Mallow. That'll be good, and Mallow does a final punch and gets um gets a level up to score for specials and Peach grows a level. Peach can get some more HP, I suppose. She deserves it. Then the next enemy we're gonna fight is gonna be a little guy like this who gives us a ton of experience if we do it correctly. These guys over here are really bulky and one of them is there, so that's very good. Just to start going against you. Did we do the timing correctly? I don't think we did. I think the timing is actually very difficult for this thing, but oh well. This guy uses pull out bills as attack. And that's quite deadly sometimes, but it's not too terribly deadly. We got a fair amount of experience for that. Now let's say hi to those guys who attacked us from the hole in Forks have interrupted. Not anymore, you aren't. You are dead. I actually always wondered what if I had to kill them before that. But I seem to do quite a bit. You try to attack Mario, but you missed. Oh well, too bad for you, I guess. You are now very dead. Alright, maybe we have some mushrooms that we can use. Uh, we have a ton of max mushrooms and a honey syrup, we can use that one I suppose. We don't have a lot of royal syrups actually, I wonder where all the royal syrups went to. That's weird. Oh well. Now there's gonna be another magic group, but who's gonna make us attack, I mean, fight some of those guys? These guys are very, very dead. Also you have a ton of, you know, um, defense. It's not gonna do much to us because we are so bulky and the mouse just runs away and you are very dead, sir. We don't need to use ice against you because that's what you really get. You can just attack you normally and you're still gonna die very, very, very sad death. Now we're gonna have to fight some calamaris or whatever they are. Octopuses, bloopers. Let's do this to you. That's good. Let's defend with you, guy. You can just do some attacks, I suppose. I won't do it much. Ink Blast. I won't do much either. And do you want to do Ink Blast on Ma Mario 2? Not quite, but oh well. And Thunderbolt with Mallow, that'll finish all of you off. Beautiful. And we get. Some more honey syrup for it, I believe. Nope, that wasn't a honey syrup. But I guess we can use something called a flower jar in order to kill all of our things and even get more. And now we have to fight some bees, which are weak against lightning, so we can just, you know, defend with everyone and do lightning for these bees. You can just, you know, attack if you so want to. But please don't do mushroom mushroomification on Mallow, and it'll be all okay. You guys are idiots. Oh well. What can you do about it, I guess? And you're all dead. We don't even need coins anymore. Because we're all out and all on the coins. Mario just doesn't even get anything anymore. He just gets the HP, that's all he gets. We don't even have experience boosting anyone, we just don't care. And we get to fight some lizards. And Donkey Kong, why hi there, Donkey Kong. You are not dead, Donkey Kong. Let me just make sure you're dead, Donkey Kong. I know that you're not Donkey Kong, you're just a monkey that just does things, you know. You're all dead now, thank you for existing. Mr. Monkey God is dead, and so is are your lizard brothers. And the last corridor with four last enemies that we're going to fight. And after this, we are going to, I think, stop the episode, because we're not going to want to get all out on the episodes. Yeah, I know, right? I wonder why. And just... You are dead, bomb. You are dead, bomb. And we get defend up. Now do that attack on Mallow, because he just got defend up. You're an idiot, Mr. Guy. 
And you are a dead Mr. Guy, you are not a guy I know, you are a cannon and you shoot bullet pills at us. I remember you from Super Mario Brothers, you used to shoot bullet pills at us at random times, but oh well I suppose, what, I, what can I do man? Then power for Mr. Bowser Guy, attack, normal defense goes up to 100 which is pretty good, 3 more battles and then there's gonna be no more battles. After that there's just going to be a few of those, you know, action courses, let's just do this, let's do this, and let's do Thunderbolt on all of the guys. You are dead, and let us pass. We are almost at 60,000 frames, we are at 60,000 frames, now. But there's two more battles, and after these two more battles, everything is going to be all okay, just let me kill one of you. Because you are very dead, even though you suicide yourself after I killed you with a normal attack, you are still very dead because I can do so much damage that you don't even believe it. And I can just leave Malo to do a little thunderbolt on these guys because these attacks have quite a bit of defense but not so much for magic defense and this guy should be dead with a lightning bolt, otherwise they would do some Valoring up and that'll just kind of sort of make it more difficult for us to do anything. But oh well, we, I chose the left middle one because that happened to work out last time, but oh well. I mean the last time that just didn't happen to be a good thing, but oh well. Now this guy over here is a thing, make sure to do a super, not super flame, but super jump against this guy. And this guy should be dead in almost no time whatsoever. He's on 77. You probably noticed I stayed quiet for quite a while there suddenly, and and suddenly I wasn't talking, and now you're dead, Mr. Treasure Chest. I am at 65,000 frames, you gave me 200 coins that I don't even need, but oh well, I guess I get a drill claw. A drill claw is a weapon for Mr. Bowser Guy. We can put this on, it'll raise it by 100, which is Fairly good, I suppose. And we have two more doors we have to go through. Four, five, and six. One, two, one of them is a puzzle course, the other one of them are action courses. So, in the next episode we shall do that. But before that, I think I'm going to not go back there and save because we cannot do that. Oh well. Thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care, y'all.